Good evening and welcome back to Survival Sea Lab. I'm Odi Apparatus. On today's episode, we're going to set up a brand new Mistcraft Age for our quarry. And then we're going to do a little bit of work with our jewelry once again and getting the proper enchantments that we want on it. So we'll take another pass at that and see if we can get some cooler things with the Mary Culture jewelry. So let's get going. All right, so as I mentioned, we're going to make a brand new Mistcraft Age here to set up a new quarry into. I want to make a very large quarry and I wanted a nice flat area. So we're going to go with a desert biome. I think I got one set up in here. I'm going to turn off this old quarry here. I grabbed everything out of there. We'll get rid of the Chaparral biome and we'll make a brand new one here. I started putting this one together. Uh, it is a blank uh, linking page and then it has a desert biome, a mi mine shafts. It has natural grass colors. It has normal sun and villages. Uh, that's everything I could add that would be relevant to making a new age here. So I'm going to grab that book out. And we're going to take it over to our book binder and we're going to right click it onto there. And that'll make ourselves a new age here. And we will need to, what do we need to do here? We need to put the book here. We need to put a name for it. That's right. We need to put a name in here and we need to put the linking panel up front. That's the other problem here. There we go. Now it should work. Okay. So we'll do a new quarry desert. New Quarry Desert, and we'll grab that book out, and we'll go try it out here and see how it does. Let's throw these other books in here. These notebooks we don't need anymore, and we can actually take this other notebook back out, and we'll empty it out here in a second. Um, I'll put it back in there for now. And then, uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. Okay, so let's go to the new quarry here, the new desert quarry, and let's make sure we have everything we need here. First of all, we'll need to make sure we have a uh, linking book. We have a book stand, and then we'll need an emergency book stand just in case something goes wrong. So we'll go book stand. And we'll make one of these up quickly. And that should be pretty good. So we have to make a few more linking books because I'm just about out of them. Um, why can't I access that? Come on. There we go. Things are lagging up. So already I can, might be having a problem with the, uh, the lights up top there because they're already lagging me a little bit more than usual. I don't enjoy that. But given that we just made a new age, it could be that too. So let's head to the quarry, new quarry desert, and we'll see what hole it holds. So let's head in there and see what we can find. Oh, it doesn't look good. It's got some bad rain here. Oh no, this is not what I wanted. This is not good at all. Oh man, this, this is horrible. This is not a desert. Okay, well at least we got the, the, uh, the library right away. We can grab that and maybe get some new pages here. Snow biome. Small biomes. Badlands. And then we'll look for the, uh, the old hidden one here. Grasslands, windy islands, tendrils, and flying mountains. All right. Not too useful. And there's not another one in here. Make sure. Yeah, I don't think there's, I think there's only one per, uh, place here. Make sure there's nothing up here. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck in the webs. All right. So this is horrible. But does it have ores? Well, this might not be bad. Too bad. We get nether quartz from here. We're going to get with a lot of netherrack, though. Uh, and I probably... I mean, is there is there uh, other ores here besides nether quartz? Or is it just the standard? Yeah, it's not doing the nether ores here. It's just doing nether quartz. So I guess this is a good source for nether quartz. I can come here and mine some. I don't need to worry about uh, zombie pigmen attacking us, but this is obviously not what I was looking for when I made this age. So let's make another one here. We'll use the same thing as we did before. Fortunately, we cost us another linking book, but uh, we'll have to make one up quick before we leave again. Uh, let's head back and see if we can make another age here. Oh, that was really, really disappointing. Okay, so we're going to change the name on that place for sure to uh, Crap Nether Biome. Um, get rid of that one altogether. So that's, that needs a new name. Let's let's put a new name in there if we can. We go to Bookminder and put in a new name for it. No, we can't do anything with it. All right, we'll figure it out later. Uh, we need to make ourselves a new thing here. This is not right. This is not right at all, Mr. Uh, thing here. So let's let's make up a new one here quick. Well, let's grab the desert again. I really want a desert biome for mining. Uh, I think that'd be a good idea. We'll grab that. We need uh, eternal rain is not what we want. Hot springs. I want the villages again. I want the mine shafts again because those are nice to have for, uh, you know, getting different things, rails and that kind of thing. Medium, 
We want the villages again. We'll put in one of those again. We'll put in one of these back in. Let's put make sure we have all these things uh made up here. We don't want snow block for sure. Bad lands we don't want. Flying mountains. It might be cool. Tendrils we don't want. Alright, so let's put the rest of that stuff in here then. So don't get confused. Come on. There we go. Villages, mine shafts, desert biome. Okay, so that was not quite everything we had before. Um Let's see, is there anything else we don't want? We want like Eternal Sun, if you have it. Normal Sun, let's do that. Normal Sun, we need a uh, rainbow? Sure, why not, let's put a rainbow in it. Why can't I copy that? Oh, I'm out of ink. That's why. Oh, God. Okay. Wow. Uh, we need more ink. Bottles. Ink. And we need more bottles of water. Oh, we have seven in here. That shouldn't be too bad. Grab those back out. Grab these back in. Break all those into, into, into ink vials. Okay, so let's put those back in there. That was the problem. We can't make any more pages without ink. We'll put that all in there. And we got plenty. All right, so we'll leave it how it is. And then we need uh, one more page, I think. One more page, one more good page. Hydrogen blocks, natural fo foliage. I wonder if there's another ores page. That'd be kind of nice for that one other place. Sky glade, silver color. Oh, we want the rainbow, that's right. Whatever that means, we'll make a rainbow. All right, and then we need a linking page. Grab that, and I'll just put this into this one here again. Oops, not like that. Did it get lost in there? No, it didn't. Okay, so go put all these in there. We have desert biome, mine shafts, normal sun, villages, and rainbows. All right, so this probably won't be a good age either. We'll grab this notebook out and try it one more time. Before we go, we should make another couple linking books though. Uh, so let's put the notebook in there. And we'll say uh, desert... Biome? Question mark? There we go. That's what we're going to try for this time. Desert biome, hopefully. We'll put the other notebook back in here then. And we'll give it another shot here. Let's make another linking book for ourselves before we go. We just stay down to one. I don't want to risk it with just one at all, obviously. Uh, we just have the one in here. So let's do another linking book here quick. Um, we need unlinked link book. And we need a recipe for those. I think it's just a panel and a and right. It's just a just another uh, blank panel, right? Let's just grab out. Oh, we're out of ink here too. Let's grab some more ink out of here then. Take three of those for over here. There we go. Grab a link panel. I think if we just take a link panel and put it in here. No, that doesn't work. Uh, how do we make an unlinked link book? It says just a linking book and a, oh that does it okay so leather and a link panel does it link, unlinked link book and we'll link that up over here to our good old spot right in the middle and right click and then we got a link book okay cool we got another one and we have one reserve here and we'll need another book stand god everything we need all at once come on book stand there we go Let's make make like a bunch of those I can only make one. All right. Well, we'll be at, at the very end of our rope here. Hopefully this is a desert this time. We'll make a desert biome. Uh, we don't have the, um, we don't have any like clear modifiers or anything like that yet to try it. So we'll go desert biome and hopefully for the best. Uh, God, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Hopefully it'll be stable. Hopefully it won't be uh, nether. Hopefully it'll be desert like we wanted. At least there's a rainbow we can see already. And anything? There we go. What is this? We got crystal from Mistcraft everywhere. And uh, oh, here's desert though. This is perfect. Okay, so I wanted a desert because it's nice and flat, first of all, for making a nice big quarry. And we also need cactuses because I don't have any back home. So we'll need to put some cactuses down on our little uh, agriculture area here. But this doesn't look too bad. I probably should have put down a marker to where we started here so I don't get lost. It's over here. Okay, so let's put down a marker here. 
for the book. This is not too bad. I think this will work for a uh, a nice uh, mining age. So let's go uh, book and put that there. And then we'll go back to the game. And we got a spider coming at us, coming right for us. All right, so we can set down the quarry and stuff like that in here. I'll need a few more uh, landmarks and that kind of thing. But we also will get some crystal here, it looks like. That's kind of cool. I don't think we have any of this stuff. Is it even used for anything? I think it just looks nice, right? Uses for crystal. Make a crystal receptacle. All right, so we could make that. We don't have that yet. Uh, I believe that's how you can have like multiple uh, multiple ages like in a single spot here. Oh, we got we got buffed buffed the zombies though. They have mining fatigue. Why why do they, why do you guys have mining fatigue? That's weird. All right, so this is gonna be my new mining age. We'll set up a quarry in here very soon. And so I can keep getting more and more stuff. Our old quarry has run its course. I think we've we've drilled too many holes in the world. But this one should last a good long while because there's a nice flat region we can build in. Should be pretty cool. All right, so now let's head back to the C Lab and start working on a little bit more with the Mariculture jewelry. All right, so we've got all that set up. We'll set up the quarry in there shortly. I have everything in my pack right now. I could have dropped it right there. I guess we can go back later and do it. Uh, yeah, it's all up here. So we'll do that later. Um, for now, though, what we want to do is actually work on our Mariculture jewelry. Let's grab our mirror back out here and let's take a look and see what we have here. Uh, we have this ring of unbreaking, fall resistance, focus punch, and step up three. Out of those, I don't really like any of them. Focus punch lets you uh, punch things, I think, with that. Um, and the, the uh, fall resistance we have on other things... Step up three it actually was bothering me a little bit. It just lets you step on block step up on blocks when you have it equipped uh, Let's put it back on here. So, and it was kind of bugging me a little bit um, How it was kind of jumping on things I didn't want it to jump on like I just wanted to run into this thing and Now I can't do it. So I don't, I don't have a like step up a whole lot uh, So we're gonna try to remove that one and then our necklace we have inferno three, which is cool I can actually with inferno. I can set things on fire. No, not like that. I believe I can press why? What is it? What is the button to press to? I can set things on the fire though. I know I can do that. Um, but uh, it doesn't doesn't seem to be working too loud. The only thing I liked about Inferno 3 is that it makes us resistant to all fire damage. And that was worth it. So that right there alone, I think I would keep that one on there. But we could also pull the enchantments off. Now, Fall Resistance 4 and Inferno 3 work pretty well together. Flim Flame is also uh, just innocuous. It doesn't actually do anything. I think we do need to pull all the enchantments off our Gold Pearl Ring here. And put them on other things or just pull take the fall resistance off altogether and uh, take step up three and that maybe re-enchant it with something else or make another one and re-enchant re it. Maybe that'd be better better use of our time here. And then we have the uh, other one here, which was the pearl net bracelet with restoration two. Now restoration two was really cool, but uh, I noticed it does instead of instead, it repairs all your other things, but it damages the jewelry itself while you're wearing it. So it doesn't last very long. And there isn't really a way to repair these things after it's done. So I don't know if I really like Restoration 2 either. Uh, the ones I really want to get, where's my book here? Where's our good Sea Witch book? I think it's over here. Let's go take a look. Um, I went ahead and made up another bracelet here so we can try re-enchanting with something else here. And we can try to go for like a level 60 maybe and see what we can get on it. Uh, my Sea Witch book should be in here, I think. No, where would where, it be? I wonder where it would have went to. Oh, you know what's in, in the Hyridian? I keep forgetting about that book here. It's in here. Of course it is. All right. So it's in the Hyridian uh, book binder. Uh, so what we want to get, I think what I want to get, ones I would love to have would be uh, one up is kind of a cool one. Um, it gives you uh, you can one up will you will one up will you up to a certain will one up will you up to that doesn't make any sense here. All right. That's why I can't read it. It's not written very well. Uh, one up you will you up to a certain amount of hearts each level you heal up one and a half hearts at level three You'll be healed up to two hearts since enchantment staff stacks this enchantment stacks If you have a total of seven or more it will heal you up to maximum. So it kind of like heals you um, Never hungry would be a great one. If we can get that uh, Poison ivy. I don't think I want that focus punch is this one it increases how much damage you do with you when you hit something with your bare fists uh, so we actually with focus punch three we can actually do three hearts of damage with a single punch. It looks like each level increases by a half heart, so we can actually do only a one and a half per, per hit here. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is kind of cool. You can hold down the enchant key, cause the player to run fast. It's not too easy, though, because you have to hold down the uh, enchant key, which I think is Y by default. Uh, Leapfrog lets you jump higher. That might be cool, actually. I might like that. 
Uh, Step Up, I said I don't like already. Paraglide, we probably don't want because we could fly already. Spider-Man, now that would be cool. Let's you climb walls like a spider. I might want that altogether. That one is one I would really love to get is the uh, Spider-Man enchantment. Uh, Blink lets you teleport by simply control right click on a block in the distance. If it's in distance, you'll be teleported to that location. The higher Blink level, the further you can travel. That would be kind of cool. It would be like uh, teleporting like um, an Enderman. Time Lord. Oh, Time Lord would be cool. Uh, you can change the mode on servers 5%. Okay, so that, that, this lets you change whether it's day or night. That would be kind of nice. Superman grants you the power of flight. Each level increases the speed you fly at. Okay, that would be another good one too. If we can get a speed of, of, of flight power, which doesn't uh, doesn't um, cost any energy, that would be amazing. Reaper protects you upon death. At level 1, your items will... Oh, that would be great. At level 1, your items will not be lost upon death. At level 2, sometimes you will spawn exactly where you died. In level 3, you will resist damage for a short while after respawning. That would be cool. And then Luck of the Irish. This enchantment gives you the bonus enchantability when enchanting with mirrors. Increases the catch rate with fishing rods. Oh my god, that would be cool too. So there's a lot of cool enchantments. Luck of the Irish, Reaper, Time Lord, Superman, all those things we want to get. Uh, so we definitely want to get a better uh, bracelet enchanted here. So let's let's grab this bracelet on my pack first of all here. And let's see what we can get with it. First of all, let's do some more enchantments on this. And then we'll start ripping enchantments off of things and mixing and matching to see if we can get what we want exactly. It's going to be expensive to do so. Because re-enchanting things does cost experience as well as enchanting it for the first time. So I'm just going to sit underneath the, the shower here and gain some XP. I have plenty still here. I was a little concerned at first that we wouldn't have enough, but I think we got plenty to do. We'll be at level 60 here, so we'll try it and see what happens. So one level 60 enchantment is pretty much all of my experience here, unfortunately. So we might have to stick to level 30 because I don't want to do a level 60 enchantment and have it be crappy. Um, we probably could set up like a grinder of some type to make sure we get more uh, experience maybe? That might be a good idea. Um, yeah, we might have to do that in the future here. Because I, I, this is like experience I'm collecting for the entire game. And one level in 60 is going to take all of it. So let's actually use the magic mirror here. And we can set it up to level 60. What's it at level 30 right now? Let's try it. Let's do level 30. Oh, we, don't, we, can't, we can't even do level 60 because we don't have the, the higher level mirror yet. Because we don't have the nether star. We need the nether star in order to get level 60 anyway. So we can't do a level 60 right now anyways. We can just enchant with another level 30. Which we'll do right now actually. Let's see if we can get something better. So let's do a level 30 here and see what we get. Fall Resistance, Sonic the Hedgehog 5, Restoration 2, and Fall Resistance 4, Paraglide. Oh my god, this is another kind of bad one. Alright, so we'll take all of our bad things. All of this is going to be kind of crappy. But what we'll do is we'll take this over to... Where should we put this thing? Um, let's put it... Let's put it like right on top of this. I think that'll work. Actually, let's just put a little wire coming off the top of it here. And uh, we'll grab what is known as a... Oh, getting laggy. Um, an auto disenchanter. Where did that go? I had it in my pack, didn't I not? Oh, no, it's up here. I think it's upstairs. Let's go in here. Auto disenchanter from Mind Factory Reloaded. And we'll grab some books out of here. And we'll need those. 18 books should be plenty for now. We'll head down here and lay down our auto disenchanter right here. And then what we want it to do is to pull off all the enchantments off of... Should we take the enchantments off of this? The Inferno and Fall Resistance is actually kind of nice on this one. Let's pull off the... Uh, God, I don't know what... Let's pull off the Unbreaking 3 and all that off of here. Let's see how that goes. So, let's do Repeat. Yes, it's going to go for a little while. It takes a little bit of time to juice up here. But then once it goes, it'll pull off one of these enchantments at a time. And then we'll have it repeat so it keeps going. And then we need a way to pull stuff out of there so it can keep going. Um, let's get a item duct. Do I have any? I have one here. That's perfect. And I'll need a servo. I think I should have some in here. Yes. And I actually have these item ducts. I'll use those instead because they're better. Anyways. And we'll just go straight out from here. And tell it to pull out. And now we should be able to do some more enchanting here. For some better stuff, hopefully. And we'll put it into a chest. Oh, we need another chest, of course. There we go. All right, so we got another chest here. And we'll have it pull off into there. And now it should be going. And it's not going because we don't have the servo in. Oh, the servo's not set to uh, ignore redstone data. There we go. And now it should go. And it's going to pull that book out. And what did it take off here first? It took off step up three. So we can take step off three up up there. It takes little damage to the ring every time we pull an enchantment off of it. But it should be okay. 
we probably can get more enchantments back onto it still and see if we can get good stuff here. So we'll keep doing level 30 enchantments on this stuff and, and we'll pull all of them off for now. And then we'll kind of mix and match them. It'll cost more experience to get these things put back on there. But I think ultimately we want to do that. I think we can just go up to the anvil and work this stuff like that. So let's, let's, let's go do an experiment here quick and make sure that's the case. So we have uh, Unbreaking 3. We have, uh, let's grab this, this necklace here and see if we can put Unbreaking 3 on it. So let's grab, let's grab the Restoration 2 one here and see if we can put Unbreaking 3 on it. We can. It costs 7 to get that on there. So that's not too bad, actually. Uh, it doesn't cost nearly the amount of uh, enchantment levels it took. And we can rename it also, so that'd be kind of nice. Um, so let's take those things off here. We'll save all the enchantments down here for now. And then later, once this is all done, we'll come back and see if we can get cool enchantments on this stuff here, finally. Fall Resistance is the last one to go. So we got a Focus Punch, Unbreaking, and Step Up 3. This is a, I don't think we can put these onto other things here. Maybe we can put it onto regular armor. That'd be kind of interesting. Let's take a look here quick. I don't think it's going to let us do that. Let's just grab some golden boots here. And then we'll grab one of these enchantments here. Like grab like one of the random enchantments. Like the step up enchantment. Like that one of those. I don't think it's going to let us do it. But we'll see what happens here. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have a feeling. It's only for jewelry. You can't put, can't put one of those on anything. But we still we can enchant jewelry with what we want. And uh, it'll be pretty good. So uh, I'll give it a minute here. I'll be right back. And we'll be done with all the enchantments. And then we'll start getting them onto what we want to be on. All right, so we got all the enchantments pulled off now. And as you can see, our necklaces and rings and stuff here are pretty badly damaged because this does decrease the durability on anything it disenchants. So we probably don't want to use these things for more enchantments because they're about to break. So we're going to have to make new things if we want to do more enchanting, unfortunately. Um, so I think I'm actually going to work on that between episodes. I don't realize this is going to be a short episode. We're not going to get a whole lot done here. But uh, that was mostly just a couple of procedural things I need to do to disenchant those things so I can get new enchantments on there. We don't have nearly enough levels. What's becoming clear to me is that we need to get a way to produce some more liquid XP. And so I'm going to work on that next episode. We'll set up a nice mob farm to get us more liquid XP because we have our, our mob grinder over here working to get us mob essence. But we can't use mob essence for enchanting. So we need a better system for getting liquid XP. And I have some ideas of how we can do that. So next episode, I'm going to come back. We'll have plenty of new juice to enchant stuff with. I'll also make a couple more pieces of jewelry in the meantime here because it does take some time to create those. Uh, I do have some gold string and all that already, though, so we can make a few more things. I have some pile of sticks in here already, too, so I can put those together, make a few necklaces, make a few rings. I'll work on this stuff between episodes here. And then I'll come back and we'll set up a way to give ourselves more XP so we can do even more enchanting in the future. That's the game plan. Anyways, I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are enjoying it, please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night.